What it do everyday people man, it's your boy PJ and today we're back with another lit video back in the confessional and yeah we stay on some lit stuff man. Shout out to my everyday people and shout out to the whole Lucky Nation man. We up in this thing keeping it lit all 2022 man. Hey check this out big dog. I just want to know what is going on okay. Is this true? Peepo. Let's talk to the YT Peepo okay. Let's get it going. A lot of really nice comments on a recent video I posted, so I thought I'd share another marriage hack. This is my husband and I's absolute favorite type of soap. We get it from Whole Foods. Um, all you need is a non-suspicious scale, and what you're going to do is when you get out of the shower, you just make sure you weigh your soap every single time. Keep this little marker right here. When you get out of the shower, you just write down the weight of your soap on the mirror. Uh, you can see one time I actually dropped the soap. It went from 92 to 89. Uh, a little corner like chunked off. So I just had to go without soap for a few showers. It wasn't a big deal. <laughs> Shout out to nasty really ass nice Robin Banks. You nasty bum. So let me just break this down. So from looking at her uh, video. All right. So looks like every time she takes a shower. She takes off one, I'm guessing it's a gram, maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's a gram. So you, she she usually uses about one gram of soap per shower. And I guess this is being frugal, right? So when she drops the soap and loses three grams, she has to skip a few days? Get the hell out. Listen, man. First, okay. First, y'all don't use soap. Uh, like okay, it, white people. I got y'all got to explain some of this stuff to me. I got some white friends, but they don't do this shit. And and the ones that probably do do this shit, they never explained it, and they won't mention this to me because they see this on this. They see this stuff trending, and they don't want to. They don't want to be like, hey, PJ, you know, I do that shit too. Cause probably I'm gonna tell them, look, you need to start bathing every day. Okay, so here it goes. I hear white people don't bathe every day. It is what it is. I don't bathe every day because of the pandemic. I work from home. I mean, but I do now. But I'm saying when you, in the beginning of the pandemic, I was losing my damn mind. Okay. Also, white people don't season their food. I don't know why. I mean, some of them do. Especially ones that have mixed children. They season their food. Okay. Biracial children, not mixed. You got to stop using the word. Anyway. Uh, white people don't use wash towels. Uh, they use they use loofahs. Like I, this is why I don't like loofahs, cause they sit in there and get everybody else's dirt on them. You know what I'm saying? I don't like them. So I will buy a dollar loofah. I use it for a bump, discard it. You know what I'm saying? Don't I don't even use them that much. So when I do use it, you know, just use it a couple times to throw it away. Get another one, okay? My washcloths I change every day. See, I don't know. I don't understand what the, what's the big deal. You change your washcloth every day because you don't want to wash your face, wash your ass, then wash your face again. You know what I'm saying? So change your washcloths every day. But white people don't use wash, washcloths, okay? Also, what I've noticed is why, white people don't save Walmart sacks. I don't get it. White people, let me know. What is up with y'all not saving Walmart sacks? Every black person got one Walmart sack filled with a thousand Walmart sacks or a Crown Royal bag. Or an empty paper towel roll full of uh, full of Walmart sacks. Okay. Oh, uh, I mean, I could go on and on about the things. I these are questions I have for white folks. Okay. Uh, you know, I don't. I'm not finna call y'all nasty. I'm not finna call this lady nasty because, as we can see, her and her husband do shower a lot. But the fact that she had to skip a few days lets me know. Further lets me her and her husband skipped a few days. Don't let me just let you know her and her husband skipped a few days. That was a stinky bedroom. Let me tell you, because it goes from 93, 92, the S and the K. I guess once the S is the husband, the wife is the K. Okay. And she she dropped the soap on the K and couldn't take another shower. And you don't see an S in there either. So he didn't take a shower either. So they are really literally. You know, trying to use every 
bit of time and basically spread out their day. So I don't know. Let me know if this is the only these are the only people that do this. This is not a marriage hack. I'm I'm sorry. This is not a marriage hack. At the beginning of the video, she called it a marriage hack. This is not a marriage hack. A lot of really nice comments on a recent video I posted, so I thought I'd share another marriage hack. Okay, so this is not a marriage hack. I'm pretty sure those comments were not nice. Matter of fact, let me go take a look. Hold on, let's see here real quick. All right, so I have confirmed from her last video, people are flaming her in the comments. <laughs> First of all, this is a bullshit ass family hack. I don't know why she, I think this woman is trolling. This woman is trolling because when she went down the three days just to let us know she didn't take a bath for three days, she's definitely trolling. She is definitely trolling because I'm looking through the comments and I'm seeing like people are taking her videos too seriously. Like her sharing the cake. I'm, I'm going to upload the cake sharing video. You know, just go check it out on my uh, shorts. I'm going to upload the short cake sharing video. The cake sharing video. I'm going to upload that right now. So y'all can see that. Hey, man, let me know what y'all think. <laughs> this woman is nuts, man. Anyway, everyday people, man, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to holler at you later. Peace.